Yo, what's going on? Cliff Jumper 1984, Red Rocks. Oh, yes, the Alcoholic Autobot. Rocking that awesome Retro Transformers shirt. It's a little tiny on me, but yeah. Got that natty ice, though. Bit of a controversial video real quick. Uh, something that's about myself, really. It's my opinion, and my opinion's not right. That's fine. It's ten bands. Yeah, ten bands that I think I hate or I think that you know suck. I'm into music a lot, of course. I play drums. I've been in and out of bands. I've played stages and stuff. You know, of course, nothing extravagant, but I've played you know stages where other famous bands have played before at a big local like club around here. That's pretty cool. Uh, but anyway. Let's get started. Of course, like most of my top ten, it's in no order whatsoever. And I'm sure it's going to change, but these are ones that I really just thought of at the moment. A lot of them, you know, came really quick, and other of them, you know, I didn't think about. Uh, let's see here. I don't know which way I want to start, because other ones, I would want to get a pen to cross some of these off. But anyway, fuck it. Avenge Sevenfold. You know, I know there's a lot of pet people or hipsters out there like, Avenged Sevenfold, you think they suck? The drummer, wait, the drummer was good. My bad. I, rest in peace. Whatever. I'm sorry. He, he was he was really really good. The guitarists, yeah, they're they're pretty good. It just the singing, it, I don't know. With that type of style, it just does not work as much for the music that I mainstreamly listen to or mostly throw in my CD player or you know MP3 player. I get a lot of singers like that, but just not with that style. It just sounds like shit to me. Stain. Yeah, I really enjoyed Tormented, which I guess was the pre-release to Dysfunction. I, I enjoyed Dysfunction, and then I kind of like their newest album. I don't know what the title's called. I've listened to about a little over half of it. It's all right. But everything in between is just garbage. It's just this bald dude bitch it. That's what it sounds like to me. Pink Floyd. Again, that's another one people's going to be like, you fucking hate Pink Floyd? Uh, my ex-bassist dad, who I hang out with a lot, he's going to turn 50, I'm 30. Uh, he's, r you know, r that's his favorite band, Pink Floyd, and I've had to deal with that so much, and it just drove me nuts, and I can't stand the band anymore. And of course, I've grew up with that around with my parents, too, and I just never had anything for them at all. Blink-182. Do I need to say more? They're fucking garbage. Green Day. It sounds... Every fucking single they put out almost sounds like the same fucking song. I mean... I don't give a fuck if ACDC does it because they're the first people to maybe do it, but... Green Day? No. Just shut the fuck up. God. I just recently met a professional wrestler, Hacksaw Jim Duggan, and I asked him what his favorite uh, band was. And it's a band that's on my list. I hate to say it. ZZ Top. Yeah. Again, what do I need to say more? If you're from the South and that's your stuff, again, that that's cool. That That's your opinion. I just... No. No, no, no. Fuck that. Legs and uh, cheap sunglasses. Oh, cheap. No, no, no. Fuck it. It sucks. All that shit. Slipknot, ooh, might strike a little bit of chord, uh, some people, again, it's a talented band, somewhat, it just takes it too far that I'm just like, no, don't, that's like trying too hard, especially when, like, with the whole image thing, of course, I grew up being a huge Kiss fan, and it's not like anybody was listening to it as big as I was that, you know, I discovered that on my own. And, of course, I'm not like that like I was, but, like, the way Slipknot did it, no. No, it just... Now, I, can, I, I definitely enjoy Stone Sour. Like, I'm not saying it's a top favorite band, but I'm going to maybe keep it on the radio as paired to Slipknot. I'm going to turn it off. And I hate to say that I had their uh, first two albums. Oh, my God. Oh, I've grown a lot in my music taste. And again, with the style that I listen to comes number nine, Guns N' Roses. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it was overdone with me. I just can't stand Axel's fucking voice anymore. 
And maybe it's because, like, the attitude of him and the attitude of other people. Slash is not a great guitarist. I'm, you know, I don't sit there and study guitars. I don't, uh, I don't know music theory or anything like that. So maybe I really don't have a say in what I can say who's good or not bad, I guess, in a way. But to some of the other you know, guitarists I listen to and everything like that, he just doesn't even hold par. And for all these other guitarists that I listen to, for them to say he doesn't even, you know, come close, it's like, wow. Richie Blackmore, Ethan Brosh, uh, Akira Tukoski, if you don't know him, he's from, uh, guitarist from Loudness. Uh, who's the old dead guitarist from X Japan? Ying, Ying Wei, Ying Wei Mouse Team. There's Steve, Steve Vai. Uh, John Skiles, whatever that was in, uh, White Snake and Thin Lizzy. I mean, there, I think there's so many better guitarists out there. Even, uh, what's his name that originally played for. She's only 17. Uh, Winger, the, the original guitarist for Winger would even blow him out of the water. All right, I've talked enough about that. And here's the one that's really going to piss a lot of people off. And yeah, there's my list. You're not going to see it. But if you didn't read it right there, yeah, the Beatles. I'm, I'm sorry. I don't know what the hype is. I know, again, being a big Kiss fan, they did it, They were the biggest influence Kiss had, especially Gene Simmons and Paul Stanley. But, sorry. Not a Beatle fan. Hey, Red Rocks, 1984, with that cliff jumper, that natty ice. Hey, the alcohol go to bot. Like what you hear, you don't like what you hear, put that comment below. Hey, opinions appreciated. Do what you gotta do and drink one on me.